Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your qualifying review in the British Grand Prix. Max Verstappen is on pole position, ahead of Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri. Wow, absolutely unbelievable. I cannot believe that. My second favourite team, McLaren, are ahead of my favourite, Ferrari. Absolutely unbelievable. Congratulations to McLaren. Fair play. Where did that come from? These upgrades are absolutely working a treat. They really, really are. I mean, that is just wow. Who could have predicted that? McLaren, second and third. Congratulations, Lando Norris, on the front row. Absolutely just amazing. Honestly, I... I'm so happy for McLaren, I really am, but obviously disappointed that you beat my favourite, obviously, but at the end of the day, P4 and P5, you know, for Ferrari, not a bad thing at all at the end of the day. Still quite high up, but yeah, McLaren, wow, unbelievable. And another person what deserves a mention is Alex Albon. I mean, he was absolutely unbelievable as well. He was rapid in that qualifying session in the Williams. I mean, he's long in this track, Alex Albon. The straight line you see on the Williams is just absolutely incredible. George Russell is ahead of Lewis Hamilton. First time for this a while that George Russell has out and qualified my driver, Lewis Hamilton. So, Fair play to George Russell for doing that. But Lando P2 on the grid, I'm just so happy about that. I really, really am delighted. Sergio Perez gets knocked out in Q1 yet again. That's now five races in a row. He's not been in Q3. Nowhere near good enough. He needs to an out of his ministry ASAP. He desperately needs replacing after the summer break, I tell you, put Ricardo in that car. Let's see what he can do. I mean, he can't do any fucking worse, surely. I mean, that is just shocking by the Mexican. It really is. There is a red flag in Q1 because Kevin Magnussen's has just come to a halt and, yeah, just completely shut down. And also, Bottas had a mechanical issue as well. So, Two Ferrari power units with mechanical issues. That will be a concern for my team, I'm not going to lie. But this team, Mercedes, I mean, P6, what is it like? Because the Ferraris are P4 and P5, so Mercedes P6, P7, I think they will be very disappointed with that. I'm not going to lie. I mean, the Mercedes just... Something is not quite performing well in that Mercedes, honestly. But, obviously, I'm wearing my Lewis Hamilton t-shirt. This is a new one, by the way. I just reviewed it on FC, no, uh, Photo Shop 3. So, I got a review coming up in this on Tuesday. So, you'll be able to see it. But, yeah, it's a Lewis Hamilton top anyway. But... Yeah, I mean, Mercedes car just not working right, unfortunately. But, wow, I mean, what an unbelievable qualifying session that is. The crowds were going mad and cheering for Lando Norris starting P2. That's just unbelievable. Don't get me wrong, I was expecting Max to get pole position. But P2 and P3 from McLaren, they are in the stars of the session for me. Like I said, and beat my finger as well. Unbelievable. Just what them upgrades have done to that McLaren is just... Wow. Amazing. And can they keep that chrome livery for the rest of the season, please? Absolutely outstanding having Silver back on the McLaren. And look at what happens. P2 and P3. I mean, that's just... Wow. Unreal. Unreal, but I'm buzzing for the race tomorrow. I cannot wait. Join me tomorrow for the race with you, and then Monday for drawing the ratings and team ratings to the British Grand Prix. That's hope for a great Grand Prix tomorrow.
Max would probably win the race at the battle between McLaren, Ferrari and Mercedes. That's going to be absolutely electric, honestly. Wow, unbelievable. What an epic, epic session that was. I mean, just wow, McLaren. Fair play, fair play, well done, well done, bye-bye.